If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. We'll note that in this question, the capacitor initially begins in a charged state. And then this switch is thrown open. And what that's going to do is begin to discharge the capacitor. Now, for a capacitor that is discharging, the following equation is obeyed. And the capital Q is going to represent the initial charge on the capacitor. And then the lowercase q is going to represent the final charge, so to speak, after some amount of time has passed. Now, we were told that after some amount of time, 75% of the initial charge remains. What that means is that lowercase q is going to be 0.75, or 75%, of the initial charge. And then on the right side, we have the other term. Now, if we look at this equation carefully, we can divide both sides of the equation by capital Q in order to cancel it out. And then what we want to do is actually try to solve for the time t. If we go back and look at part A, it says find the time interval required for the capacitor to reach this charge. So the question is really asking us to solve for the time t. The problem is that this t is stuck up in the exponent. And in order to get it down, so to speak, we're going to have to take the natural log of both sides. Now, by taking the natural log of both sides, what that allows us to do is to pull this entire exponent down in front of the natural log. At this point, we'll note that the natural log of e is equal to 1, so we can actually remove it from the equation. We're trying to solve for the time t, so we could multiply both sides of this equation by rc. And then we can divide both sides by negative 1. Now, we've isolated t, and then we want to note that rc is the value of the so-called time constant. And if we look back in the question, we were told the time constant has a value of 1.1 seconds. So we're going to be able to plug in 1.1 seconds in for the term RC. And then once we type in the left side of the equation into our calculator, we can see that the time ends up being approximately 0.432 seconds. So this would be the time required for the capacitor to reach 75% of its initial charge. Now for part B, we noted earlier that the time constant which is symbolized by the Greek letter tau, is equal to the resistance times the capacitance. Part B, of course, is asking us to find the value of C, so we can just divide this equation on both sides by the resistance R. Now, the resistance was given to us in the question as 250 kiloohms. Note that because it's kiloohms, we're going to have to multiply it by 10 to the power of 3 in order to convert it into the standard unit of ohms. And then the time constant, tau, was given to us again as 1.5 seconds, so we can plug that in as well. And then when you simplify that on your calculator, you're going to get a capacitance equal to 6.00 times 10 to the minus 6, and then the standard unit of capacitance is farads. Chances are you may have to convert that into microfarads. And so to do that, we just recall that 1 farad is equal to 10 to the positive 6 microfarads. So the farads will cancel, the 10 to the minus 6 and the 10 to the positive 6 will cancel, and you'll be left with just 6.00 microfarads as the final answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.